let's take a look at the zinc iodide experiment. So the goal of this experiment is to determine the empirical formula of zinc iodide. And we'll do that through experimentation and calculations. So one of the steps in order to reach this goal is going to be determining how much iodine is needed to react with a set amount of zinc. How many moles of each reacted? We'll use that to find out the empirical formula. And then from step two, we should be able to determine which one is the limiting reagent. So whichever one has the least amount of moles in that reaction. And then we can construct the empirical formula for zinc iodide. So the experiment looks a bit like this. We're going to add about two grams of zinc and two grams of iodine into a flask with 25 milliliters of methanol. So the methanol is not really involved in the reaction. It's just kind of the vessel for the reaction to take place. So I'm going to do this inside the hood uh, because methanol is toxic. And so you heat the solution and you'll know that the reaction is finished when the solution turns colorless. So next you'll remove from heat and then decant the liquid from this original flask here into a pre-weighed beaker. So there's gonna be a solid left over and that is going to be the reagent that is left from the reaction. So the opposite of the limiting reagent. So it's going to be the excess reagent there. So you decant the liquid from the reaction flask into a beaker and then do a couple rinses with methanol in the flask and you'll transfer that to the beaker again. So back into the hood, we'll heat both of these for quite some time to evaporate off all the methanol from both flasks so we can get an accurate measurement. The zinc solid will be in the beaker B that I have labeled here and the excess reagent is going to be left in the flask. So, Here's a little overview of the calculations to figure out that empirical formula. And let's get started with the reaction.